Noise and grain can ruin an otherwise perfect photo, but with the right tools and techniques, you can easily remove them and bring out the true beauty of your images. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Affinity Photo's built-in denoising tools, including luminance noise reduction and color noise reduction to make your images look crystal clear. So if you're ready to transform your noisy and grainy images into beautiful, clean works of art, then let's get into it. First things first, import your photo into Affinity Photo. If you're using a raw photo like I am, it should open in the develop persona. If you don't have a raw photo, then you can still open it up inside the develop persona. All you have to do is come up to the top left and click on develop persona so that you can open up your photo inside the develop persona if you're not using a raw photo. Now inside here, Affinity is actually applying a little bit of denoise already. All we have to do is come over to the details tab in here and you can see that noise reduction is already enabled with a little bit of color denoising happening. Now in this menu, the two most important sliders are going to be the luminance and the color slider because these sliders control how much denoising is actually happening in each channel. So the luminance slider controls the intensity of the noise removal from the luminance or brightness channel, and the color slider will control the intensity of the noise removal from the chrominance channel. So like I said, Affinity Photo is already applying a little bit of denoising. If we untick this, you can see just how noisy this photo actually is. And it's really just a matter of playing around with some of these sliders to get the look that you're going for. And you want to find a nice balance between preserving detail and getting rid of noise. And you can see just by moving the sliders around just a little bit, we've pretty much gotten rid of most of the noise here. You can always zoom into your photo as well so that you can see the before and the after of exactly what we've done here. Now, I'm just going to quickly explain the other sliders too, just so you have an idea of what they actually do. The luminance detail slider adjusts the detail edge smoothing threshold. So the higher the value, the more fine details that will be let through. And the luminance contribution is how much of the overall luminance noise reduction is added to the image. Same thing goes with the color one, but it just controls the chrominance noise reduction to the image. Now, usually with noise reduction, you're going to lose a little bit of detail no matter what you do. So we can always come up and hit detail refinement in here as well. And we can mess around with these sliders as well to get a little bit more detail back in our image. Like so. So now if you'd like, you can see a before and an after here of exactly what we've done with a side by side. Now when you're done doing all this and you're done being in the develop persona, something I recommend you do before you hit develop is come up to the output and make sure you're on raw layer embedded or raw layer linked if you're using a raw photo. That way everything we did here won't get baked into the image and so we can always come back and change details if we want so that we can keep a non-destructive workflow. And we'll just hit develop here. Now there's one more method to denoising your photo inside Affinity Photo that I wanted to show you guys and that is if we come down here to live filters, we can come up and hit denoise and we basically have the exact same sliders that we just had inside the develop persona so you can mess around with these sliders if you want to do a little bit more denoising and the nice thing about this is it just creates a live filter here so we can always uncheck that or check it if we need to come back and change anything and that's just better than actually coming up into filters and then noise and denoise because that will just bake itself into the image this way you can also mask out certain parts of the image so if you only need to denoise certain parts of an image you can mask that out in here as well but that pretty much does it for this quick tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.